everyone, it's Nintendo8114. Hey everyone, it's Nintendo8114 back with some more Super Luigi Galaxy. This time we finished off. Um, uh, what did we finish off? Oh yeah, we finished off Toy Time Galaxy by doing an astonishing four stars, I believe we did. We did star two, star three, um, Prince of the Comet, and the uh, Secret Star. What the heck is going on outside? There are a bunch of, oh yeah, it's a funeral thing. Okay, never mind. Um, so, in this episode, we're gonna do the uh, mini game and the boss of the end here, but I just remember to check the wind. Yep, yep. Uh, one up, skip, yep. Okay. Okay, um, let's go. Man, I love these some um, short transporter things. I like how they, I like the transporters. I like how they added this thing. Oh, and also another announcement on Nintendo 81, uh, Nintendo 8150. I record more than 50 minutes on that channel as well. So now we can record more than 50 minutes on that channel. So yeah. Uh, we got everything on all three of the main galaxies, so let's start the mini game off, which is called the Bone Galaxy. So I believe here we are going to be fighting like a. Uh... Yep, we are going to be fighting a like skeleton fish. So let's get started. And there is actually a kind of in like a little uh, glitch thing. I'm not sure if it's a glitch. I don't know. It's kind of an Easter egg, because. When you fight this boss as Mario, uh, the boss's eyes glow, but when you do it as Luigi, when you do it as Luigi, as you can see, the eyes are not glowing. So I have no idea what that means and there's also another thing where if you're mario and interact with luigi and then go to the battle his eyes won't be uh glowing so i have no idea why what why that happens but i guess the reason for it is luigi so i'm watching dude oh what we only have oh geez how did we lose this much health did i spin or something oh anyways to beat this guy we have to get up we have to get a shell and throw it in its face. You can just throw it anywhere. Uh, like some four times or five times. But after you hit it the first time, uh, you spawn some minions to start chasing after you, which is not a good thing. But also you can get one up if you do this. And there are also some red shells as well. Uh, when I played this as Mario, I even, I failed hitting this guy with the red shells sometimes, which was something. I mean, is it really that hard to hit this guy? I mean, seriously, depending on his size, I don't get it. I mean, I'm literally just missed up. Oh, maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just my bad game. Maybe I just suck at this game. Oh, wait. So, oh, uh, where is this guy? Can I take this? No. Just crash into it violently. Ooh. Miss. Okay. 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 And I did not hit him, and I also have one health left. Oh. Come on. Oh, here we go. Here we go. I'm gonna get it. Gonna get that. I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna get it. Oh, I got it just before that guy killed me. Wow, okay. Oh, jeez, jeez, oh, God. Whoa, jeez, that is creepy. He, what? I lost my uh, life shroom already. Wow, I suck at this battle. Oh my gosh, uh, am I gonna beat this thing? I've only hit it once. Oh my gosh, I cannot hit this thing. Even with a red shell, I I cannot hit this thing. I have no idea what the problem is. Luigi just spin. Yeah. There 
we go. I hit it a second time. And now, okay, no cutscene. Uh, come on, you gotta get that. Okay. Let's refill our air here. Okay, I'm just gotta wait for him to come up here. Um, okay. Just grab that. Ouch, banged it to the wall. Ugh. Oh God, okay, come on, come on. It's been five minutes. Seriously, does it really take that long to complete a battle? The answer is yes. How did I not, oh, I hit him, okay, never mind. Oh, dang it, cutscene. Oh, geez, I only have one health left. Oh God, oh God, I gotta, 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 God, God, God. Just get out of here. I gotta find, I have got, to find a coin. Come on, come on. Okay, shell, that doesn't really help. I cannot find a coin anywhere. Come on. Oh, there's a coin. Uh, oh God. Oh, 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 I hit it. Okay, I hit it. Okay. That was my third hit, I think it was. No, fourth hit. Hit! The guy! Oh, I killed one of his minions. Okay, come on, Luigi. Find the shell. Luigi just get himself in. Okay, any shell. I don't really care right now. Eh! Did I beat it? Yes! Maybe it's just the creators of this game and they made this really hard, or maybe it's just me. Maybe I just suck. Okay, where is that star? Uh, I think it's somewhere over here. Come on. Yeah, I have no idea. Oh, jeez, jeez. Okay, I'm starting to run out of health here. Okay. Oh, where is it? I'm, okay. Okay. Where? There. Oh, I hit the star. Okay. Oh, jeez. Seven and three quarters of the video taken up already. Wow. Come on. Woo, 77, we got so many. And also, it's very lucky we have 77 stars. That's luck. I mean, when are we ever gonna get a letter saying Luigi's captured? I mean, seriously, it has to happen sometime. But whatever. Okay, what are we doing? Oh yeah. And I'm gonna shoot him in the Okay. Whoo. Whew. Okay. Bowser Jr.'s lava reactor. King Caliente Spice Return. It's basically we're fighting King Caliente again, except it's harder. And this is also one of those battles that only has one planet, and then you go to the boss. So it's pretty light. But whatever. Let's just do it. So, it's kind of like the first battle, except harder, I guess. Just like before, you have to get a bullet bill, and you- Oh! Wow. <laughs> oh, Jesus is still chasing me. <coughs> oh. Might want to get rid of all the Goombas in that case. Okay. Here we go over here. Oh. <coughs> okay, that plan was really easy. Now let's head on to the boss. No, wait, there's not the boss. There are a couple more. Just, just gotta. Okay. Who really cares, anyways? There's a light stream here, so. And then we got a tube. We got a tube. I don't stand on these planets. I don't stand on these platforms for too long because they'll stick into the lava. But now I believe we are heading out. Yep. Basically, just like before, except they are platforms now. 
And look at the cutscene. Platforms aren't moving at all. I wish I was in a cutscene all the time. If I give up any more green stars, my dad's gonna get mad. Well, then you should have made a better level and a harder boss. I mean, seriously, who would just, it's like, this guy is stupid. I mean, you may not understand, but think about it. So this guy's dad is gonna get mad if he gives up another grand star. And the boss he decides to choose is a boss from World 1 that's only change is the platform sinking into the lava. Wow. Wow, that's just stupid. That is just stupid. That makes lots of sense. Wow, yeah. Oh, well, let's just fight King Kellyante again, yo. And I also think he's a bit harder himself. Maybe he has just a... Uh, he has a bit more changes. I mean, he start. I mean, he starts off on the second hit. I mean, normally you would just do that and hit him, but this time he, uh, he's more experienced at tennis now. And as you can see, it's only been the first hit and he's already spawning those fire things. So, uh, boom. Okay. Now his crown is falling off. Do this. Oh jeez, does it get beat up? Bum, 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 bum. Is he dead, really? Is he actually dead? Wow. If only I could do good like this on the boss battle for Bonefin. That's, that, 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 that oh look, the, the, the platforms magically don't sink into the lava anymore. Yeah, it's cool. Man, people are just so generous with games these days, even on World 5, which is like the second to last world. So, the next world is a bit different than the others. Uh, you can go to the final boss fight by uh, talking to Rosalina, but you can also go to a secret world, which we are about to unlock here, with our second to last grand star of the game, and now we're the big and we have unlocked the final world. All the way up there. But before we go to that world, we have unlocked another place. It's like a little house. That kind of reminds me of the first, like, place we've been to before. Like, you know, the galaxy where we got our first star. And we've discovered, like, every single galaxy there. Uh, okay. So don't worry, this may take a long time, but there is another way to get up there, which I will show later. Basically, you just have to follow the green path, except go higher this time, pretty much. So yeah. Wow, that was bad. Okay. So we're going up to the engine room like we normally would. And uh, then once we, if we keep going this way, um, we're probably not gonna be able to fit in the, uh, the place first. You know, the place we're gonna go next because we have to do the Hungry Loom. I, I never wanted to talk to you. Uh, no thank you. I know you want a thousand star, but then I have like 800 more. Than, you know what, why not? Let's just keep this guy now. And also, you know what sucks? There is a... Uh, Hungry Luma for the gate, which is where that little house is, and the garden, which is where the secret house is. I mean, seriously, the gate isn't even really a world. Okay, so we are gonna go to Sand Spiral, um, right after I show this. So basically, we just go up here. This is uh, where the gate is. If we go in here, we unlock a star that we are probably gonna do in the next episode. And if we go up here, we are in the garden, which is right over here. And, uh, yeah. But there is actually a bit of a glitch if, um, for the garden. It kind of makes Luigi look like he's having a seizure or something. If you stand between the boundaries of the platform and the, uh, the door, Luigi kind of looks like he's having a seizure. And if you face the other way around, he does this. So, yeah. But anyways, as I was saying before, wow, this must take forever to get up to. But if you go back here, you can just go to the garage and go all the way up there. So don't worry, you don't have to worry. Hello, Luigi, I might as well get a one-up while I'm here. 
Okay, we're at, we're at, um, at 15 minutes now, so let's go um, and do the Hungry Luma. So let's just jump down to here. Yeah, and go. The Sand Spiral Galaxy. Now, I like the idea of Sand Spiral Galaxy. It gives you a choice to uh, go through the level with either the Bee Mushroom or the Boo Mushroom. And I said when I was playing in this level as Mario, I would do one of the power-ups as Mario and the other power-up as Luigi. And I think I decided to do the uh, the Boo Mushroom. So if I didn't, uh, if I didn't just leave it in the comments or something, and I will upload a video. Well, really, who really cares? I mean, it's just the same level, but with a different power-up. I'm just going to grab the bee. I did the boom mushroom because to me it seems like it's okay. I thought I was gonna die there. <laughs> seems like it's easier, but it actually is kind of easier. You know why? Because as as the bee mushroom, as the bee Luigi, you can only die from the bubbles. But as boo, but as boo Luigi, you can die from the lights and the um the uh bubbles. so yeah but it is harder to fly so you can't fly in the sea but you can't do so yeah it's kind of happening so let's just reason I put that there even though we could just simply use the sling star I didn't get it but I'm gonna use it anyways and as you can see there's the star right there on the moon so then we unlock the invincible star and we can just kind of have a little bit of fun doing this from into whatever those spiky bomb things are and from right here we can just launch into the star so yeah well that was uh actually kind of short i think we might actually have enough which is uh the second star of its kind actually in this game and why are we all the way down here whatever so yeah i just wanted to, i'm just gonna show you the star and then we're gonna end off the episode so like the first star took like seven and three quarters minutes and now this the rest of the levels take like one minute Oh, yeah. So I'm giving you the, uh, the gates now. So let's just go up here and head over to here. And then we can do it. Now, and, um, this is actually a pretty unique star. And you'll see why in a second. Because we have only gotten this star once. And we're about to get it twice. One as Mario and one as Luigi. So let's do it. So we head in, and look where we are. We're on the first planet we've ever been to in this game, pretty much. I mean, we've been here as Luigi and as Mario. So, yeah. So if we go back up here where we first met Rosalina, as you can see, she's standing here. Get fire. Mm -hmm. This planet is very dear to me. <laughs> for whatever reason. I look forward to visiting this planet with the Lumas every 100 years. So, so that's why it's special. But still, the, why this specific planet? The Luma that's been traveling with you also may grow up to become a star. Some Lumas become planets, some become comets, and a few become power stars. Oh, so all those things I've been collecting are your babies. That's kind of wrong. I'm traveling with them while they look for a place to be reborn. Mm. But I never thought all this would happen. Yeah, he's Bowser, you know. Mm. Anyways, there's a red Luma all of a sudden. Wow, Mama must really trust you. How about this? You grab all 100 purple coins here, then you earn my trust too. This is a red star. It holds the power of the red Luma. But the really amazing part is it allows you to fly after you spin in midair. Yes, fly. While pressing A, you can pick the direction you want to fly with a, a circle pad. 
think it's called, whatever. If you can collect a hundred uh, purple coins, then I'll let you use my power somewhere else. He, he means on the Comet Observatory. So anyways, you grab it and you turn into Flying Luigi. So we have to get a hundred purple coins. This flying power does have a time limit on it though. But don't worry, there are tons around here. So here's our first uh, 100 purple coin mission as Luigi. Basically, after you beat Bowser um, for the first time, you unlock a bunch of purple prankster comets all over the place. And after you do those, you fight Bowser again. And then, well, we are almost done with this game, actually. So yeah, we're just gonna... I'm gonna grab another one here. Uh, basically, yeah, it's kind of actually pretty cool. I kind of like this, I, but I'm sad they didn't put it on, um, on, uh, Galaxy 2. So, here's my way of getting them all. I like to make sure that I got all of them in the air. Yeah, I think I did. No, wait, except for this one here. Oh, come on. You can press Z, by the way, to stop flying. Wow, that's the worst camera angle in the universe. Come on. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Come on. Please don't tell me. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh. This is literally the worst camera you have ever seen in a video game before. What the heck? I'm gonna run out of time. Oh my. That sucked. Oh my! Am I ever gonna get this? Probably. Not. Oh! Why does the camera angle change so awkwardly? Is it just me or something? Jeez, finally. Anyways, you can collect uh, all the of these uh, purple coins around you by spinning, which is actually a pretty good tactic to let you get the stars. I'm just gonna grab another red star here. Oh, hello. Yeah, oh, come on. I uh, can't catch you. This one's a really hard one. And I just got Come on, I got a lot of star bits in there. There! Star bits. Uh. Okay. So, uh, this is literally the worst camera angle ever. I've said that a million times, but I don't care. I don't care. Aw, oh, dang it. I almost had a flat I think there should be one appearing right around here when it runs out. There we go. Okay. Okay, let's get tons here. Okay, we're almost got all. I'll save that one for last. Okay. Okay, five. What could the rest be? Here we go. 96, 97, 98, 99. Let's get that one over here. And once we get it, uh, this is literally the worst camera angle ever. Once we get it, a red star appears. You heard me, a red star. So yeah, uh, that's one of the two red stars in the game. It's pretty special. It looks awesome. And uh, yeah. So yeah, now that we are done with that, sadly, is the end of the episode. So next time on Super Luigi Galaxy, we're gonna start off um the uh the garden. Wait, I think 
Yeah, we have to do the hungry loom of the gate first. And, uh, yeah, we'll start doing the garden. So, uh, yeah. See you guys then. And remember to subscribe.